Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Rich Flows back at it again with another video, Flow Gang. So today, very, 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 very special video. I want to introduce you guys. I want to introduce you guys to the new co-host of the of the Clapped Podcast. I don't know if that name's been taken or not yet, but if it hasn't been taken, it's patent pending for us. Clapped Podcast. If that name's been taken, it's still the Flowcast. We'll see after we cut it up and everything. But today, my beautiful co-host is here, and she is going to talk about. Her life. This is a long-awaited video of mine. Um, she's amazing. I want you like this girl. I speechless. Literally speechless. But let's get into it. Are you ready? Don't make it all about me. Well, me too. You know, I've been going through my own things and stuff like that. I've been trying to figure out everything, and ultimately just back on my horse, chilling, doing my thing, having a good time. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a, my head. My headspace is a lot more clear now. Uh, I'm kind of able to direct uh, my energy a lot better. You know, before I was being very lazy for over the past year. Um, but yeah. Relax. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I definitely gotta <laughs> relax. Um, I'm in video mode right now, but in reality, I just we're relaxing. It's this is the clap podcast. I'm clapped this shit, y'all. You know, but it, we. It was I need, I think we need to turn down the brightness a little, turn, my friend. Turn down the brightness? Okay. Yeah. We can also turn down the brightness on here. But yeah, guys, these are super raw, raw podcasts. We're not going to, you know, if we need to adjust anything while we do it, we're going to do it. The focus is messing up a little bit. I, I can't even adjust the focus. But hey, hey, it is what it is. Live, learn, use what you have, and keep on moving. Now, for my guest. Um, I'm not your fucking guest. Well... <laughs> So we're just talking? This is just a podcast? Yes! Okay, okay. It's not so, a YouTube video. Okay, okay. So how do you feel about the social and economic state of the world right now? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so we Okay. But can you give okay. me a chance to talk? You've been talking this whole time. Hey, hey talk. <laughs> talk, talk. This is not a video. Remember, it's okay. a podcast. It is a podcast. It is a podcast. Okay. okay. So, yeah. The name of this podcast is Clapped. Like... Like Babe said, and we're gonna have videos like like this that are raw, and videos like this we're gonna call them clapped raw, um because there are certain times that you know like you don't really feel like dressing up like for example right now I'm a little bit hungover, um and um yeah you know so we're gonna have like our professional podcast where you know yeah. like we dress up we like do our hair and like we talk about um, serious topics and we have it like all planned out but then we're also going to have these uh clapped raw where we should sit and we talk uh, like not giving a fuck how we look um well like, like we, i i, I yeah. didn't even brush my teeth to be honest with you. like I, I use mouthwash you know what i'm saying like it's, it's yeah, okay that's a like, little tmi that's a little tmi <laughs> but now nah, we're here we're here now the the show the podcast is called clapped raw clap because uh unfortunately i lost my pet bird clap a few months ago or a little while ago and it really upset me and i, I just wanted to dedicate this podcast to him i hopefully hope that name has not been taken if it has we will go back to the flow cast or we'll figure this out together and like she was saying just to add on to that um, we do want to have like our official podcast set up and I think no, there's no better place than the gaming room itself So I got a lot of cleaning up to do a lot of dusting off to do before we get that But hopefully fingers crossed next episode we will have not only a guest But we will have that set up going with the couch and with everything, you know working So we're making use of what we have for now and um, and yeah, yeah. So. Um, What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie Mulan Mulan? Yeah, it's uh, always, like, my entire life. When when I was little, I used to, like, play, like, I would, like, press rewind, play, rewind, play, rewind, play. And, like, I had the Mulan's cassette. Fire. You know, I had the cassettes. Yeah. So, like, you, you had to press, like, rewind and then, like, play it again. And mommy was so fed up with it. <laughs> That's how I was with SpongeBob, bro. The amount of times I played, I played SpongeBob, like, front and back, like, I know those episodes front and back. It's it's yeah. crazy. Like OG oh, SpongeBob, man. Yeah, yeah. But SpongeBob is still going at the end of the day, and I, I respect that. Is, I, it is. I, yeah. Or did it end? I don't. I don't know. Okay. Um, if you guys know if SpongeBob end or they're still making episodes, I don't know. Just leave a comment. Let us yeah. know. Yeah. Let us know. But I think they're still making episodes. Um. But yeah, I just been. 
on a whole new wave of positivity, self-healing, and just relationship healing and things of that nature. Don't want to go into too much detail on that, but just know like we are getting better, you know, as a, as a couple, as a whole, and as a result of that, uh, we've just been contributing a lot more to society, and um, yeah, we definitely feel like you know you you can't necessarily like. We 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 have we donated clothes today. We did donate clothes today. We we donated like five bags of clothes. Yeah, and we had those clothes in our closet, you know, for a couple of months, and we finally decided, you know what, like it's time to donate them to the less fortunate, to people that actually need it, instead of having it sit here in the closet. So, you know, that's kind of the whole new wave I'm on, and just trying to just do better. And uh, yeah, anything you want to talk about? Um, it's been a really tough summer. Um, yeah. Yeah. It really has been. Cause we can vape on the on the cast too. Okay, I was about yeah. to ask. <laughs> <We> can... <laughs> yeah, sorry. We, 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 yeah, okay. I have my baby bottle right yeah. here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, um, it's been a really tough summer for me. Like, um, I work a lot, and um, I work at elementary school, which is like really is pretty tough dealing with. Yeah. Thirty kids, forty kids, all of them, like every day so it, it's draining it's so fucking draining and you get burnt out so quick um and the fact that like i have summers off is is like it's amazing and yeah. we we were supposed to go on a cruise i have booked a cruise for us literally like three months before the semester ended um where we would go to um we we're supposed to go to mexico we we're supposed to go to honduras um cayman islands yeah. and belize um it was supposed to be a seven night cruise just him and me like full package and everything like I saved a bread for this fucking vacation, and the most unfortunate thing happened, which I, we don't feel comfortable saying. Yeah, we're not gonna disclose exactly what happened, but regardless, the cruise itself, we we couldn't make it. Yeah, yeah. we we couldn't make it, and then um, since um, I I tried content contacting um the, the cruise line, let them know like to see if I and can what get a and what fund. cruise line is that by the way? Um Caribbean Princess. Caribbean Princess yeah. cruise lines, yes. Like honestly like but if you're gonna book a cruise, make sure you do the impossible to not miss it because getting yeah. a refund is like a uh, very unlikely. Very, very unlikely. And and um, there there's that and also like um getting stuck on the island you you always make sure you get on the ship at least maybe at least 30 minutes before um there's they're gonna port do not wait because if you wait they will literally leave you there you're gonna have to like find your own flight it's not worth it um i don't recommend it at all but yeah yeah but we missed it and then um we weren't able to to get a refund uh because Caribbean princesses had like the the tickets that we bought were non-refundable, which is why I got insurance for the tickets so that in case we weren't able to make it, we could still get the refund. But the insurance will not refund us due to to the nature of the situation, which yeah. is really fucking upsetting. So literally lost two k right there. Yeah. Um, and that was really fucking devastating. I'm still, we're still mourning that. Yeah. Um, and that's what we needed though. Like seriously, yeah. like just both of us to step away, go on a ship, just take you on your first cruise. Like yeah. it, it would have been magical. Yeah. It, it was my, it was, it was supposed to be my first cruise that I bought with my yeah. own money. You know, like, yeah. I mean, I had never been in a cruise like bought by anybody at, at all, but like, you know, like. When you work so hard to get something and you finally got it, but then it gets ripped out of your hands. Like, yeah. but not only did they rip it out of your hands, like they, there's no leeway. There's no like room that they're giving you to even do anything. Like they don't even allow you to book a new cruise. No, they with, didn't even allow like, me to reschedule because of um, how how the, the cruises are booked and stuff like that. They said that it would be too complicated to reschedule, blah, blah. And I was like, well, it doesn't even have to be like the same trip. It like, it could be a different trip. They're like, um, no, sorry. Like the company, like the policy, blah, blah, blah. And like fucking stupid, fucking yeah. stupid. And it's not the first time that like I worked so fucking hard for something and it get ripped 
it it gets like snatched out of my fucking hands. Like yeah. like with my car, Lisa. Um, I I had this beautiful um twenty eleven Honda C R C and beautiful, really I, nice car. I worked my butt off for that car. Like um, I re- I remember like I had saved up all my money to buy a car and then i i called my grandma to ask her um to help me like look for a car and stuff like that and she was like well if you were looking for a car why didn't you just tell me and i would have given you the one that we have here which was the 2011 honda crz w grandma Um, for real w abuela for real so i did work my butt up for the money but my grandma still gave me the car so that was like that was really good you know and the point is that um i was in college in Vermont and um, I decided to take a break from college so I'm originally from Puerto Rico and my all my, my entire family lives in Puerto Rico and I moved back to Puerto Rico after taking that break and I had shipped my car to PR um, it this is a very long story <laughs> you can continue. Um, yeah we, we have unlimited time pretty much okay so um, 10 minutes in and it's all good I had shipped my car to PR um, and so I, I could have like a, a way to like get around and stuff and like get a job and stuff. So anyway, after, uh, like three, four months of being in, in Puerto Rico, um, I got this job offered in Colorado yeah. and I was like, well, um, are you guys looking for more people? Because I, I would like to go with my boyfriend. My boo thing. And um, they said yes. They hired us both. And literally in, in a week, we were in Colorado. So And I had to leave my car uh, with my with my parents, which I, I had no problem with, you know. So um, anyway, we went to Colorado. And when we were coming back, um, we were staying with, uh, with his parents. Yeah. And I had saved up money to bring my car back from PR to over here to Florida. Um, but again, another really unfortunate thing happened. My dad um, was using my car to go to work, which I don't mind. Um, that what happened was that he was at a stoplight, and the person that came behind him did not stop and slammed into the car. It was like a four car crash. Um, and the way insurance works in PR is that there's no private insurance company. Everybody has the same. Yeah, everybody yeah. has like the same like government insurance, and each year you you just pay for a sticker that you put on on your car and whatnot and like it's really shitty because when shit like this happens you you get literally scraps like the the money from the from the insurance uh in the car crash had to be split equally among all those people so we only got yeah. like 2k and the car was fucking totaled then got like beautiful fucking car too man. yeah like the most important thing is that my dad is fine like nothing happened yeah. to him like he he didn't even have like any scratches or anything which which is good yeah. um only like a little bit of back pain so um that's the most important thing to me but it hurt like a motherfucker like i i called my mom be like I, and i told her hey i have the money to bring the car over and then she was like well i have something to tell you and that shit like really broke me really broke me you know? quick hug quick hug <laughs> but but to lighting up the moon yeah 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 <laughs> i worked my ass up again yes, sir and, what'd she do what'd she do <laughs> and i got the same exact car oh, oh shit, shit. <laughs> that really yo I don't know. Yeah, continue, continue. And I got the same exact car, 2011 Honda CRC. Um, and I paid it in full. Insurance paid in full, so it's a hundred percent mine, and it's in the driveway right now. And um, I love it. I'm so it, happy you know? for her too. Seriously. Yeah. So hard work, guys. Hard work. Um, pays off. Is tough. It's tough. It really is. Like I, I'm not going to tell you that it was easy. I cry a lot very often. <laughs> um, we, we, oh my fuck! Just we, get that shit out do. of here. We, we both cry. We, it happens. Both of us. Yes. I will. I will fix that after after we go off air because I don't know what's going on with them. But hey, listen. Like we're here right now. Um. I'm really proud of you. Everybody like in your life is really proud of you. And I just I just love the idea and the fact of being able to promote you. Like and what you are, what you stand for, your art, your poetry, just anything and everything there is like about you. I just 
I want you to get that recognition. I want you to to see like the change in people and how people can be kind and just ultimately like I want you to be okay. I want you to be better. And that's not going to happen overnight. We haven't been good since, you know, day one in our relationship, meaning that, and that's for like every single relationship in the sense of you're going to have arguments, you're going to clash, especially when you move in together, especially when, you know, in my case, uh, you know, me being lazy for over a year and not like picking up my weight, you know, like stuff like that. Um, you know, it's a little bit too much information, but I, I want to be as transparent with you guys as possible. Um, I've changed. I've gotten a lot better. I've picked up myself. I'm I'm here to stay. I'm here to just ultimately entertain, really just be here and just figure my shit out too with you guys because we're all figuring our shit out at the end of the day. Nobody is better than nobody and that's just the way that that we both look at it. Yeah. 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 No, it's been it's been a really tough year for sure. Um and when when we first moved in together like that first year I was rough. It was. It really was. um, Living in Colorado, like, it was kind of like a test to see, like, if we worked together. Um, And we did, but it was really tough adjusting to each other. And I think that's something that every couple that moves in together goes through. You have to be very mindful that you both have these... um, customs and you have and trigger points and stuff yeah like that. trigger points yeah. and you have your own way of doing things and it's a learning process to yeah. be work to to become a team 24 7 to develop that yeah. synergy between you and and your soulmate or exactly. a, a significant other exactly yeah. and like granted there's there's like the the very rare couples out there that move in and like everything's fine and like you know they, they live happily ever after but for the most some part, of them are staged <clears throat> Just saying, just saying. Anyways. <laughs> For the most part, you will have a lot of, like, difficult times during that first year trying to learn your your significant other's trigger points and how to help them and how they can help you. And um, and if you manage to get through through that, um, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It truly is, utterly is, like... True love is something that cannot be bought. True love is something that, you know, you. in my personal opinion, it's not even something that you can just go out and find on your own. True love, at the very least for me and at the very least for you, it found us. Yeah. We didn't find it. Yeah. And, you know, our, our first, I, I like to take it back to our first date. Um, you know, like I, I showed up a little late because I, I went over a so, whole hour. Yeah. So, ba- so basically I used to work at this Home Depot in Orlando, which was close to my grandparents' house. And, um, what's it called? So after work, like we were already texting because we had met on Tinder. So, you know, um, and I, I was already like kind of falling for her, like on the text, we both kind of were, and we were doing like, it, it was just so cute. And like, I, it was, what was really cute. is like, I never heard your voice until the first night we met. Yeah. That was yeah, adorable. Yeah. We that didn't was adorable. hear each other's voices. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, like, I, I, what were you going to say? I did want to continue, but you can go ahead. Yeah. I, I was going to, I was going to continue like, yeah. the whole story. Okay. Like, yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll share it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, this is like around the time that I was thinking about taking a break from, from college. Um, so this was around COVID. This was in 2020. So, um, my school had like kind of shut down and sent everybody home. Um, and I was like, well, this is the perfect time to take a break from, from school. So my grandma lives in Florida and I, I came down to Florida from Vermont to stay with her for, um, Thanksgiving and my whole family surprised me, um, by being also at my grandma's house. Um, you know, so I was only supposed to be there for like, for a week. I, I wasn't looking for, for anything, you know, yeah. I, and I'm not going to lie. I was kind of a whore. It was like, a, I was kind of a hoe, you know. So when I was in Vermont, like, everything I, changed when I yeah. was down <laughs> So when I was in Vermont, like, I, I didn't really have, like, relationships like that. Maybe, like, one or two relationships um, that uh, didn't end too well. Um, yeah. And the rest is kind of like, you know, like, one night stands or just, like, um, hookups and you know, like friends with benefits and stuff like that. Col- college stuff. Yeah, yeah, college stuff. Hot girl thing. Hot girl. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I used to be. I used to be hot. Yeah. 
Well, in my opinion, she's still very, very hot, very, very delicious, very, very perfect. I know I'm making you blush. I know, I know. But she really is, in my opinion. And I like I, I don't know if I've said this in the past, but statistically speaking, you're about 12 times more beautiful to other people than you are to yourself. And we're always going to be like the biggest, you know, quote unquote enemies to ourself in the sense of like, hey, I know who I can be, like what I want to be. And in my case, like I want to be a good husband. I want to have ch children with you one day. I want to I want to make this work. You know what I'm saying? And like, although we have our differences, although like, you know, I'm still not perfect. You're still not perfect. We have a lot of work to do. Um, There's nobody else I would want to work on it with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, well, you, you came up. It kind of. <laughs> oh, I, I gave you the love touch. Um, well, yeah, I, I guess, but I was just. I was I was planning on continuing with the story when Kathy. Yeah, right yeah, continue, there. continue. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> so, Sorry. um, so yeah, I was only supposed to be in Florida for like a week, and um, um, I had I was just going through my Tinder matches, like I wasn't planning on meeting up with anybody because it was Thanksgiving and my whole family um was at my my grandma's house, which by the way I only get to see my family like maybe once a year, and it's not even my whole family, only like yeah. a few people here and there. Um, yeah. So it's very special when it does happen. Yeah. So I wasn't planning on meeting up with anyone, but then um, he hit me up and he was like, let me take you on a date, let me take you on a date, let me take you on a date. And she had a PlayStation shirt. She still has it to this day. We should have brought it out, but I, I fell in love with that shirt too. Like she gave her like a, I don't know. She, she's just a woman of the culture. You could just tell. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, okay, fine, I guess. So I, I let him... Um, take me on a date, and then when the when the day came around, um, I got ready. I was really excited and whatnot, and then I just kept waiting and waiting and waiting. But you and... know why? <laughs> I had to make sure I was fresh for you. Brush okay, my teeth. I didn't know it back then. I didn't know it back then. Brush my teeth like four I times. Thought, I thought you had to do me up, and like no. I I started crying because I was also in my period. Um, I was really emotional. I started crying, and my mom was like what's going on and I I told her that like um that I, I didn't think that you were coming and stuff and like um she she just offered me some pumpkin pie <laughs> but I did pull up I just took extra long because yeah. I, I was showering I brushed my teeth like three different times tried my uh, like changed my underwear sprayed cologne just because I just I just had a feeling you know like when you have like like just that feeling like don't lose that like when you have a feeling that God. strong for somebody and if they if you can if they feel the same way in any type shape or form tr you want to turn on the fan yes you can hot. you can yeah, yeah. but sure but long story short uh with that uh I, I was working at home depot in orlando and where i was living was my parents house which was in kissimmee and um so i decided to go to my grandparents shower up brush my teeth a bunch of different times before i knew it it was like i don't know like eight at night nine at night um, and it was getting late, like, or no, it was, it was like seven. It was like, I don't remember. Yeah, it was like seven or eight. It was getting late. It did definitely look like, like I was like, you know, not going to show up, but I made it, I made it up to her because yeah. I stopped at Publix on the way. And that also like de derailed a lot of the time, but I got you flowers and, um, we met and you were standing like on your abuela street and you, you smelled so good and, and 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 my whole family like just just was outside when he pulled up yeah like, they were they, they were mad at me they, they were they were definitely mad at me yes yeah. yeah um but yeah and that like you took me to Sheely's and yeah. um at first you wanted to take me to Shedders and no um, not Miller's Miller's yeah yeah so at first you wanted to take me to Miller's and I didn't know what that was because I had never been to Miller's. Yeah. Um, but then I don't know what happened. We went to uh, Chili's and we didn't even eat our food, not because it was bad, but because like we were so into each other, like all we did was talk the whole time and the yeah. waitress kept coming back and be like, You guys okay? You guys need anything? And we're like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're the good. leftovers <laughs> the leftovers hit, but we were literally like, like, okay, this is how we were. Like if we hope we were like this. Please go. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna lay down. You know, and it was just, it was just amazing. Like we, and 
just the, all of our all of our videos, all of our vlogs. Like I've been I've been looking back on them and just reminiscing, but in a good way. Like, as in like that was one chapter of us, and now we're on a new chapter. It's time to you know not just move on in the sense of moving on, but move on with what you have. We have those memories. Nobody will ever take that away from us. We have those experiences. No, mm -hmm. yeah, it's still pretty hot in here, huh? Yeah, like you yeah. can't even feel the fan. Yeah. Well, we're at twenty five minutes, so like I'm thinking the podcast can be twenty minute plus episodes, like mm -hmm. kind of like how uh, Steve will do it does it, like mm -hmm. on the Steve will do it podcast. Um, he does like 20, 30 minute episodes, just quick bang in, bang out. I I like that style too. Um, maybe we can have like a rule where we don't go over an hour. Okay. Yeah, just to keep it like at least entertaining for everyone. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, the I'm I'm one of those people that like, I I don't really enjoy listening to podcasts. Yeah. Um, I can watch a video like this of like people sitting down and talking, but to just listen to people talking, I I can't do that. Yeah, well, <laughs> I I do that when I'm when I'm driving um for my job, I I do that, um. I really love podcasts. Like I'm, yeah, I'm into like do. yeah, they're yeah. they're dope. It's just nice. It's I don't know. You kind of feel like the synergy there. It's just and and not only that, but you get to see like celebrities and just people that you don't even know like actually like open up about who they are as much as they possibly can and just there's something beautiful about that. Like the podcast style and everything about that is just super super beautiful and I yeah. I can respect the craft. Yeah, yes. yeah, no, for sure, for sure. So um, what what else? What else? Well, besides that, I mean, you know, we got multiple episodes to go. You're my new co-host. We got a lot more to talk about. We obviously can't cover everything, you know, in this one episode. But for what it was, I think it was slash is a beautiful episode. Um, if you want to end the episode, we can. Um, but if not, we can talk about uh, how I stole your cheesecake on our first date. Oh. <laughs> because so, so we said that. So we didn't eat any of our food. So we had our leftovers, and she had cheesecake. And when I dropped her back at her abuela's house, she forgot the cheesecake, and my fat ass ate the cheesecake. That shit was so good. You didn't save me none. You didn't save me none. Not so even good, a bite. Not it was even so a bite. Good. Uh, <laughs> and then the next, I think it was either the next day or two days later, I came back over and we shared a meal with your parents, and it was just that that part is very beautiful. Like I'll never forget that. And I had the pumpkin pie um, that your mom made you because her mom made. I, she said that your mom made you pumpkin pie. Huh? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah, I had the I had the pumpkin pie that your mom made, and it was really good. And your mom is a really good chef, and you're a dope ass chef yourself too. Seriously, <laughs> everything I know in the kitchen is from this nugget right here. Well, yes. well, my mom is an actual chef. I'm not. <laughs> well, your 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 mom could cook it up. Yeah, your mom yeah. could cook it up, but you can also cook it up. Yeah, and your abuela could cook it up. Yeah. 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 Abuela's more natural. She likes a lot of like um. Uh, how do you say like impossible meat and yeah. um she has like veggie substitutions and stuff yeah and 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 she knows i like that too so like every time we go over um basically eating like ve vegan really. yeah, yeah because even even the cheese like um she buys me like um plant-based cheese because i'm lactose intolerant very thoughtful um, she's very very thoughtful uh woman her yeah her abuela is seriously yeah and yeah, she's the best abuela I could ever have, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, we. We. At this we, point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's your abuela now. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna go see her on Sunday. Yeah. And yeah, we love abuela. We love abuela. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and we love everyone. Um, I'm happy that we finally, like, especially me, got out of my shell and I was able to make, you know, my a video again and just. It, it, it just felt really nice chopping it up with you. We don't yeah. need to have, you know, crazy camera work, crazy drone, 360, this and that. Like, although it is there, we will see all of that cool stuff in the future. Mm -hmm. For now, for the time being, I like this wave. I enjoy it. And I wouldn't want to spend my life with anybody else. Seriously, I truly wholeheartedly mean that. Hand on everything. <sighs> yeah, hand and foot. So, with that being said, you guys, I think we're going to conclude the first episode of Clap Raw. Um, stay tuned for more episodes in the future. We love the shit out of everyone, out of all you guys, and tighten it, tighten it. <laughs> love, baby, love. Yes, sir, skis. <laughs>